are in Tardin, my favorite place. <laughs> Just getting the wellies on because we are going down to a little river uh, behind Van, and there's some cool rocks down there that's sort of running diagonally across the river. Um, and there's even this little pine tree, or fir, I'm not sure, that's growing out of one of the rocks. And I know a buddy of mine, James Lane, has photographed it. Um, he didn't tell me where it was, but I, I instantly recognized it. <laughs> it's quite a, a captivating image of his. Anyway, uh, I think I might try and get a, a unique take on that first, just to get the creative juices flowing, and then see what else we can find on this river. So with all of the rains that we've had in Torridon over the last few days, the rivers are in spate. They are absolutely rushing down. So that's going to be uh, to my advantage today, I think, because the river has filled up nicely. There's a wider portion of it, uh, and I can incorporate some of these overhanging branches. Speaking of which, this is going to be the first shot for the day, I think, looking at this pine tree just here and trying to place it against some of the uh, white water in the background. Right, let's go ahead, get, let's get a shot set up. See, uh, see what we can come up with. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start out on the bridge and then I think I'll try and make my way down to some of the riverbanks and see if I can uh, shoot some of these cool rocks from different angles but for now let's focus on these pine branches So I've, so I've focused in on this one uh, sweeping branch and I'm shooting at f11, half a second, ISO 100 and it's just this wonderful scene. I don't actually have to worry too much about depth of field here because uh, the rushing water in the background is going to be blurry anyway. So I just need to make sure that the pine needles are in focus. But yeah, this is a perfect way to start the morning I would say. Been, I always keep my eye out for these sorts of scenes, but I, I don't know, I never seem to find them. So I'm really glad that I've uh, managed to make this one work. Just as I'm looking at it now, there's actually some dew forming uh, as the sun rises on some of the underside of these pine leaves. So I'm wondering if I might be able to incorporate that um, with maybe a, a longer focal length. We'll have to see, oh, it's dripping now. So it looks pretty cool. Anyway, this is, uh, I think, quite a beautiful shot, really. And yeah, let me know what you think. Right, so let's go see what else we can find. This is a great little bit of river here. So you'll be able to see just over my shoulder there, this is that little tree that I was talking about. And it's growing right out of the rock in the middle of the river. Really cool subject. Uh, if, Jane, if you were the first one to spot this, well done. Um, it's, it's like Scotland's fairy tree from Canada, if anyone's aware of that. But uh, I'm having fun here. 
with a long lens and I'm throwing on some filters, seeing what a 30 second long exposure looks like um, and just zoomed in nice and tight at uh, about 140, 150 mil, um, doing a square crop just to isolate that tree and really simplify the scene. But yeah, I'm having fun even if it's, you know, been shot before. Uh, this is sort of the first stop on my uh, trip up northwest for this winter. So still getting into the swing of things and this is certainly a good way to spend my time. So I'm just walking down the bank of the river now and there's actually a whole bunch of these little pine trees growing out of the rock right in the middle of the uh, river. The first one's definitely the biggest but some of these small ones are quite nice. They're sort of like look as though they're completely surrounded by water um, and their very small size emphasizes that sort of feeling of isolation if you will. Um, so yeah sticking with the long lens zooming in really tight and it's quite tricky shooting um, in and amongst these pine trees on this sort of spongy heathery stuff but it's a good challenge nonetheless and i'm having a lot of fun doing it we'll see if uh, we can make anything out of this little guy here this is quite quite cute little tree it would be nice if there's a bit more light i'll be honest um, but hey, work with what you're given. And let's see how that turns out. So I'm just following a bit of a deer path here and there's a peninsula 30 meters away that I think might give me a slightly better angle uh, looking back up the river. So I'm gonna go and check that out. Just walking carefully. So uh, as you can tell, as you might be able to tell from the video, it's a bit of a precarious little spot this. It's slippery more than anything else just because all of the grass is very, very wet. But I've got a great view down the river, so I'm going to try and frame up probably something vertical here and zoom in quite close on that very first tree. Uh, there's a nice line of rocks that leads right to it with a great sort of bounding shape. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to provide a lot of nice energy uh, when paired with the rushing water. So try frame something up and then I think I might walk down actually the other bank to see what it looks like from that side of the river. But it was certainly a lot of effort to get around the other side. It's pretty thick over there. Um, but I'm not sure it was worth the effort. I'm um, just going to pop on a rain jacket starting to come down a bit. And that's no bad thing. If anything, it'll just add a bit more atmosphere. Um, but. It does mean that it does mean that I will need to just be careful of water on my lens. So I might actually pop on the lens hood and get to work. If it starts coming down proper, I'm not going to do much video. But uh, yeah, I'm just exploring this other bank here. 
oh, it's, it's so nice to just sort of let my curiosity take over me and completely lose track of time photographing this riverside. I mean, it's only, what, a, a 40 meter stretch of river, but it's, I don't know, I've been here for probably a couple hours already. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna continue photographing and I'll check in in a bit. What a way to spend a morning with some of these intimate scenes here on this riverside. And it definitely started raining for a bit. Uh, sorry, there's a lack of video footage, but I just continued working down this river here and photographing some of those small trees growing out of the rock uh, from different angles. So what a way to spend a morning. And the weather might be uh, changing over the next few days. So hopefully we can get up into the hills without uh, too much risk of being in the clouds for most of the hike. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna go off and have a proper breakfast, probably another coffee now, and find somewhere to uh, park up for a bit of the day, get some work done. Cool.